Hello there. Welcome to this video testing the basic functions. In this video we're going to take a look at the most fundamental and important functions and test one or two. I've put together some of these functions with some comments, so let's take a look at them. The first thing is the function called pin mode. Now you want to use this function to set the pins mode whether input or output. So the pin mode has two arguments. One is the number of the pin and second is the mode of the pin. So something like this would be an example to turn the pin number 7 into input or output. Perfect. Second is the digital read. Now if you want to read on a digital pin then you will have to use the function digital read and the argument is the pin number. So in this case I am assigning the value of pin number 3 by reading it the function digital read into the variable called CAL. You can also use the function digital write to write high or a low to a certain pin. So this function called digital write takes two arguments. Argument number 1 is the pin number and number 2 is the high or low. You can only operate in two modes, either high or low. If you want to read on an analog pin for varying voltage, like for example, if you want to read the sensor LDR's value, then you will have to use this function called analog read. So for that, you're going to use the function analog read and you have to pass the pin number as the argument. If you want to write a varying voltage to a certain pin, then you can use the function analog write. It has two arguments, the pin number and the actual value. So this value will vary from 0 to 255. 255 being most strongest and 0 being the most weakest. So by passing the correct number, you can control the voltage and hence the brightness for an LED or the speed of a motor and so on. Just a quick information about the analog read is the analog read reads a value between 0 to 123. 123 being the strongest which will equate to 5 volts and 0 will equate to 0 volts. Delay we've been using extensively so you're going to use the function delay and in the argument you have to pass the seconds in milliseconds. You can also use the function called size of and in the argument you can pass the name of the variable to understand the size of the variable. These are some of the functions which you will use on almost all the programs. Let's go ahead and try one of them. Now let's go ahead and try to read the value of an analog pin. Right now the pin number A3 is set to input and we want to read the value of A3. Now if you take a look at the board, I have connected a resistor from A3 to currently 5 volts. So the value should be a bit high. Obviously this will vary depending on the strength of your resistor. Let's go ahead and run this. Now let's open your serial monitor. There you go. The value is 1023. Now as we are actually running the code, if I change the resistor's other end from 5 volt to 3.5, you will see that the value will go down. Now you see that the value has almost become in half. That's because I have given the other end of the resistor to 3.5. So what it means is that you can read the value of an analog pin depending on how much voltage comes on that pin. Perfect. In the next section, we're going to be using REST services to connect to ThingWorks platform over the internet. 